Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review, and today I'm going to be talking about Name Forge by Paul Brook. Before we do this, I'd like you to very, very, very deeply think and consider looking at onlinemagic.co. That is my membership site, which has over 900 videos, live sessions every week. Last week, we had a lovely James Went. He came on and, uh, and we had a great chat talking about all manner of lovely things, which you will only find out about if you have a look at onlinemagic.co. Loads of special guests have been on. Um, all the stuff is downloadable, except for the live sessions. And, uh, and that'll be that. That's, that'll be that. That's all I'm going to say about it now. Every four computers now have primary control. Name Forge. Now this is, I was going to wait and do a review on this because there's so much in it. But what I'm going to do now, because I've had so many questions, is do a, a review that will be an ongoing thing. You know that I'm doing lots of tech videos, um, different aspects of magic involving tech you know, many of which are apps and some are different things, which is what we're going to talk about in a second. But so many questions, so I just want to clarify things. And of course, I'm doing lots more live videos now. So you can do live with shorts now, vertical live videos on YouTube, which is great. Do check them out. They're very kind of raw and waffly, but you will pick up a lot of hints and tips. And if you've got any questions on here, I can make a short video there. So do keep an eye on the shorts. Look under the live bit. Um, even though it won't be live by the time you watch it, sometimes on the uh, YouTube channel. Right, so the first thing is what this does. This is a prediction revelation. And the, the revelation is, say someone inputs a name somehow, whether you pick it, in, in, we'll look at that in a minute, because that's the difference between this and acronym, which is what so many people are asking me about. Because you might see it and go, well, it looks similar. So the revelation is someone, I don't know, says, Susan, um, you get that information, however, and you will show them. You say, I've written um, five, <laughs> five names here, and neither of them are your name, are they? No, but then you circle the first letter of each one, and it spells down Susan. Again, going, I talked about it as an acronym, Crossfire Book Test, and I'm sure it's been used in different ways in the past. So that's it. But the big question is people are saying, yeah, but what's the difference between acronym? They're very different tricks. Now this isn't a review of acronym. I've done that and I love it. It's great. But the difference is, oh, I'm coming out shot there. My head's you cut off my head. Oh, I haven't, put, I haven't done my hair properly either. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I'm putting my product on. Um, acronym is a it's not really a prediction thing. So they go through Wikipedia on their phone, they hit all the links, you write them down as they hit the links, they're choosing what links to hit, and you, then you, they've given you a number of three, and then the third letter across, you go down, and it's, that's the similarity. You get this kind of word spelt downwards of all the other words. But that's kind of where the similarity ends. This is a prediction thing, which is, you say, I've predicted this, but I've got all these names. And that's the effect. So all that the spectator does is write down or do whatever they do to input a name, a place, an adjective, um, many, many other things, any word really, and you choose the revelation. And what this does is it opens up this whole thing to integrations. It does come with a cool thing out of the box pretty much, and there'll be more. This is constantly being developed by Paul. He is working day and night and with other people as well. This is a big, big, big project so the integrations with you know the usual things if you know your stuff inject someone can on their phone google something and if they're going to google a name interestingly they're saying like, why would you just google the first name why would you say google any name well you could say think of someone you went to school with that you haven't seen uh, in a long time and this is from philo i think i don't know if it's from him originally but he talked to me about this he does all the tutorials um you go let's google them that'd be fun wouldn't it so you know, type in their name, first and second name, let's see what they're up to now, we'll see if you can find them. That's it, done. Then you've got the information in the system and you can choose to output it in many ways. One of the ways to output it is in the box, you get a picture that goes to your gallery. You can say, look, there's a photo here, it's a chalkboard and it's got written in chalk 
Uh, five different names. Is that the person you name? No, spell down. And it's that person. And the interesting thing is as well that you can tell it to get the f just the first name or the, s the second name. So if they're going to write a place or a number of places, you can choose what one that it grabs, puts into the system and then predicts. So there's all that kind of stuff. That, that might Sorry if that doesn't make any sense, but again, we'll go back to this. I will be getting performance footage of this because I've now learned all the things there is to, to know. I've just got to smooth it out a bit. So that's the difference. It's a prediction. So people can... I talked about Audience Wonderland and Sam's Boards, the um, trilogy, so they can write it, keep it all on them. Then you can show the prediction. Now, if you don't want to go into your phone and do the stuff out of the box, you can use other apps to predict it. So you can say, look at my Instagram bio, link it with Hydra. They look at the bio. There are five different words on the bio or whatever it does. And you say, that's not it, is it? No. And you look at the first letter and they spell it out. And of course, there are many ways of doing that revelation, whether you write them down or whether you just say the first letter or different people say the first letter and you spell it out. You've also got glyphs. So many of you I know have got glyphs, and this I have tested. It is brilliant. You know, you've got a piece of paper with the words written down, and you show them the piece of paper, whether it's in a wallet, a prediction again that you made earlier, same with Hydra. Uh, you can... There are so... I'm not going to go through all the ways of doing it, but the point is they put the information in. It could be on your notes on your phone if you want to just do it out of the box again. You write on my notes. You can... Um, yeah, anyway, so <laughs> I was just about to do exactly what I said I wasn't going to do and list all the things it can do. Paul has made this so it runs so smoothly. Now, many people are saying, what, that price for a shortcut? So that's the other big question. This is made with shortcuts and this has been quite open, but this that makes it sound like you can bang it together on your phone. This is a computer program. If you look into this and do not adapt anything unless you really know your stuff, you know that this isn't just something that you can sit down and work out yourself. There is so much going on under the proverbial hood um, that someone like me and most of us wouldn't even bear to think about. So yes, it's not an app, it is shortcuts, but it runs exactly the same. And the reason, one of the reasons shortcuts are so good is because you don't have to sort of go to the app store every time and wait and get everything okayed and then come back. So they can keep updating very, very quickly. And that is what's happening at the moment. So people on the Facebook group are saying, oh, we could do this. And Paul's going, okay, well, we'll look at that and in integrating that. This also integrates with the... Str I'm doing it again. <laughs> I just keep thinking of other things, a stranger and all that sort of thing. So it's really strong and it's very easy to use. And if you do start looking at the short, it looks all confusing. If you go through Philo's tutorials and what he's done, he's really, really broken down every single setting, every single thing. And actually... Once you've set it up, there's a bit of there's this thing you always have to do with shortcuts. Always allow, always allow. So you have to kind of run through everything first on your own, which is great fun. I really enjoyed it. I loved it. And it allows you to learn it too. But Philo takes you through everything. And I mean every single thing. And what he also does is people, so many people have said, you know, oh, I've got acronym. Is this the same thing? I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't understand it. If you want to buy it, Philo will give you a five to ten minute, everybody that buys it, at the moment, time of recording, Philo takes you through a five to ten minute sort of induction, and that is not to pressure you to sell it. There is zero pressure. And he will say to you, if it's not right for you, look, you don't, maybe you don't have any of these, you're not going to use it, so maybe stick with, you know, what you've got. It's, and I know that's happened. So that is part of the process that a lot of people don't understand. Yes, at the moment, it's $250. If you're going to use it and you're going to gig with it, which I am tonight, I'm going to take it out, then in the grand scheme of things, that is worth it because it's part of your work. If you're not a professional and you're going to use it a lot, that is your choice. You know, a lot of you and me, you know, there's a lot of stuff I've got that I've spent a lot of money on that I love doing that I don't take out the gigs necessarily. But you will get that breakdown when you talk to Philo. Now, if you're watching Into the Future, I'm not sure what that situation is going to be, but know that you're not going to phone up and get hassled to buy something for, for ages. You could leave that call and go, yep, yeah, not for me. So that will also answer many of your questions. I think this is really special because of the flexibility. I have... 
them through all these different ways of doing it and it is literally you start it up and it opens up you you go to settings you choose what input and output you want to use and that's it once you've got everything set up and it is super easy once you kind of delve into it so other than that i think they're the main questions about the price the difference with acronym what it does the difference as well sometimes for me is that there is a little bit of time between once you start everything up and they input the way they do it, whatever they do, whether they write it on your notes or you know, do write it down on something. You know, you, you can also grab it off your clipboard, so you the setting when the, the minute they write something it goes on your clipboard, so you can then do whatever you want with that. And you can have custom photos as well, other than the chalkboard one, which you can pay a little bit extra for if you want to send something to Philo and they will make a photo up for you where the, the writing is in the background and, and that kind of thing. But there's a little bit of time because there's a lot going on where it happens and then there might be a chunk of, not a massive amount of time. If you're performing, it's nothing. Where you're talking to them, you get a vibration, it's all happened great. It's not like bang, bang, it's not instant. That's fine when you're performing, but you need to know that. There's a, there's a kind of forging time. Um, and there's some great stuff as well. You can, you can, you can peak the unforged, they call it. So before all the sort of five, five words happen, there are ways of peaking that information as well so that you've got that maybe on a peak smith or something like that as well as your revelation on glyphs on hydra on your notes on wherever you want to show it um so you get kind of two things so you got that and, you, and just in case something happened where the, the word was you know massive and you didn't want to sort of get out the whole photo thing you could just say the word you're thinking of is your name you're thinking of the place you're thinking of uh, etc i know this is all over the place but i've literally just come out of this two days of or more than two days this deep dive and I'm just kind of sharing what I have in in order to educate you more on what it is and even though this is waffly as hell I know that you're going to have an idea and, and those questions are going to be answered so I'm going there's an update coming out this week on Friday there'll be another one soon after that um you know Shamir has been heavily involved in this uh, Shamir you know creator of Hydra uh, QR Genie and his new um, app which I, I haven't got yet but I'm looking forward to he is a genius and he has really helped make this what it is and also secured it it's got this API which I'm not going to go into yet but it secures it which means other users aren't going to be able to kind of jump in and, and kind of use it um, if they find out your ID and also it sort of helps with piracy and things like that so know that what you're getting is something that is secure to you um, and I think the price I do think is fair. I think this is powerful stuff. Again, we don't want to make it available to everybody. And the difference, again, I'm, I know I don't want to keep talking about acronyms because it's a different thing. But that is wonderful for what it does. And this does other things, but with a similar look at the end of it. But it's a very different thing. I was trying to think of that word. A very different thing. <laughs> that's a word, isn't it? That sounds better than that. Anyway, oh God, right, I better start getting a bit of a life now. I'll be back in touch. Thanks very much. Any questions, and there'll be a lot of them. A lot, uh, maybe, what are you talking about, Steve? That might be a question. Feel free to put that below, and I'll clarify. Uh, keep an eye on the shorts, and I'll answer anything I can. All right, take care. Go and have a look at onlinemagic.co. It's a little bit more concise than this, and have a great one. Use the links below to check out more about Nameforge. See ya.